Hi everyone, welcome to Phil's Fun Fact Friday from Team Vincent Motorsports, actually the tech area of Team Vincent Motorsports here in Air Ontario. What are we talking about today? We're talking about these rotary valve engines. These things are really neat. Now before I get into it, I have to put a little qualifier out there. I'm not a factory trained technician, although I did play one in a television show once. So let's get into these engines. How did you get fuel and air into an engine? Well, guess what? In 1972, can and put them in the motorcycles. In 1973, they started putting them in snowmobiles. First over here, this is how we got air and fuel into a rotary valve engine. Instead of piston ports, it was actually a rotating disc. So if we take this off, this is where your carburetors would attach, right here. But in behind, this is the magic of the rotary valve. As I rotate this, it rotates to allow air in, then shut it off. The other piston, air comes in, and then it's shut off. What did that get you? It got you a more precise way of getting air and fuel in. Before there was reed valves, we used the rotary valve system. It gave you precise control of air and fuel coming into the engines. Gave you more control, more precision, more horsepower. Now, along with that came the ability to find more horsepower because the minute you give tuners and technicians something mechanical, they look and say, how can I get more power out? They found ways. They started shaving edges of the disc here. This comes off, but they could actually shave it off, finding a way to adjust the intake for the engine. So you give techs and tuners a way to find more power and they will. So again, I'm not a technician, but I know a lot of you out there found ways to find more power out of these engines. So feel free to comment and tell me how you modified your rotary valve engine in your Sea-Doo, in your snowmobile, on your K&M motorcycle. The rotary valves used in so many applications by Bombardier and Rotax. Thank you so much for watching our video series here at Team Vincent Motorsports. Remember to like, comment, find any flaws in my technical knowledge, and comment on all our videos. We have a YouTube channel that's now at 70 videos. Team Vincent Motorsports, Air Ontario, thanks for watching. Keep on rotating.